Hey everybody, it's Renee Signs. Um, working on the U2 plug still, and well, actually working on the U2 mold, and um, got this all laid up, and it's, uh, it's time to crack it open. So let's see what we got. I'm not gonna waste any time. Um, let's get started here with some of these. Uh, let's get the chisel out. Let's see what we got. I'll just work my way front to back. Uh, let's go inside now. My little actually my little crowbar. on there a little better than I thought. There we go. That sounded really good. Put a wedge in there. Got these little uh, cut up a um, like a bondo spreader and put those in while I was laying up laying up molds half and uh, um, gave me a nice uh, nice little uh, place to put my wedges. So. on the bottom mold already separated from each other so let's see if I can get these guys to come apart. There we go. Now it's a rag it's a little raggedy. This uh what I'm gonna do uh, tomorrow it's a little late to be outside the sun and I'm gonna. Oops. Ooh. I'm going to uh, 
trim these edges up and make it nice because it does. It looks pretty raggedy. Now I'm going to try this guy. I've been wanting to see how this works. This is one of those inflatable shims. Uh, stick it in here, find a spot for it. This might have just been a wasted. Wasted 14, 15 bucks, but let's give it a shot. Actually wedging that side up pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, let's just slide this part off. Look at that. <laughs> Rivets and panel lines. This is my first, my first mold, so I'm a little, a little nervous, a little excited, and a, a lot scared. I'm definitely going to trim these out. Stuff's pretty um so this works pretty good. Oh do you guys see that? I'm gonna shut it out. Separation. It's going to be a big piece. Separated. You know, I'm gonna put my gloves on because uh, these edges, you can see these edges cutting, cutting me up a little bit. Plug still. 
Oh, look at you. Oh, took this with it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Success. Uh, can't see it, but there it is. My first. Let's swing this around. Here is my, I guess that's not good, show it that, that way, but there's all my, gosh, those feel good too. I was worried that they would not come out. I can feel all those nice. This is just tape covering up the, um, I'll just rub, I'll just sand, that'll just sand right out. And this should just pop out. Um, the rest of it's just clay and uh, part all, but nice edges. My canopy. Sorry if this is a little crazy. Um, it's just clay. No worries about that stuff. But yeah, even the um, even the uh, the wing roots and the uh, stab roots came out all right. I was worried that this would just get destroyed. There's a little chip right here. But I'm not I'm not worried. I was worried about this whole thing coming loose. There's a chip right here too. Uh, but I think uh, I got an impression on the mold, so I'm not going to worry about it. All right. So let me get the other half off. I get the plug out. This, this actually might be the harder part. I don't know. All right, this is uh, Renee Signs again, um, and I got the got the plug out. Uh, success. We've got two mole halves. There's uh, the left side. Uh, excuse the messy shop. Here is the right side, and uh, my biggest fear was this part not coming out because it's got this funky 
deep, um, you know, this uh, the root stab. Uh, I thought this would break or chip out, but uh, it worked out. Uh, the the other half uh, it's tough getting the right half off, um, but um, took turbos turbo nuts advice and uh, squirted some water in there and it loosened up the PVA and popped right out. So I have got a fuselage mold made uh, and it just couldn't be happier. Uh, this is just clay. Uh, this is tape that I used to... there was a hole that I was trying to um, cover up. Um, so I can just sand that off. That's no big deal. It's just blue tape. Uh, even these little uh, flanges that I made for the um, the front forward inlet uh, parts came out really well. But uh, but yeah, all the all the panel lines, rivets, they came out pretty good. Uh, uh, I, ch I, I was chiseling out something and I actually put a scratch on the other other side of the mold, but it's not not too bad. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm I'm actually surprised these these came out as as good as they did. So uh, I don't even think you can even see it. Uh, but yeah, it's actually it's actually pretty pretty thin here. You can kind of see. Went through the tooling coat, but I can fix that. I can fix that. But yep, these guys came out pretty good. So I'm gonna wash these out, uh, clean them up, patch that little hole. Uh, not too worried about that, and uh, lay up a fuselage maybe. Uh, I'm actually going to have to pack up the shop. I found out I'm leaving town. I'm going to be leaving town for good. So uh, this might be the last video for a while. So uh, so we'll see. Stay tuned. But, uh, but yep, fuselage and the fuselage plug is resting comfortably now. So it is A-OK. -okay. Um, so now I just need to... Uh, this is the ha engine hatch. So now I just need to... Uh, mold the engine hatch which is sitting right here ready to be uh, uh, put in parting planes uh, and molded up so anyway we'll see you later